tree number 46 in Lynn Mullins Historic Trees of Zimbabwe and this is called the Salu tree. It's a beautiful example of an Acacia area loba otherwise known as the camel thorn and it's right here in the main camp of Wangi National Park. This is the warden's home or original home. The first warden of Wangi was a man called Ted Davison from 1928 to 1961 and he chose this spot for his home because of this remarkable tree. Why? Because supposedly in the 1870s this is the tree where Frederick Courtney Salou, the great white hunter, used to build his camp whenever he went hunting in the Det Flay, which he did very nearby here, which he did on several occasions. And so when uh, Ted Davison got here, he saw this fantastic tree and wanted to protect it and put it in his garden, so he built his home here. No longer the warden's house today. The warden's got a nice new house, but still the tree is still standing from the 1870s and obviously quite some time before that. Beautiful, beautiful timber here in the um, Camel Thorn. This timber was used by early settlers to build their wagons because it's termite and borer resistant. Um, it's also a very fav uh, favored firewood um, for people all over Southern Africa where the Camel Thorn is found. The Camel Thorn, of course, is those that big two-pronged thorn. Um, vicious, vicious if you get it in your foot or your car tire. And this tree also has produces this beautiful green velvety uh, pods which are very much uh, favored by the wildlife in this area. In fact, the camel thorn is not really, shouldn't really be called the camel thorn. Its proper name originally was the Acacia giraffe. And the, because the early Dutch explorers in Southern Africa, when they saw this tree, they named it after the giraffe because the giraffes were always associated with it because they love the leaves and the pods. But Camille is the Dutch, the Afrikaans, for a giraffe and early English botanists heard camille and thought it meant camel, which is why in English it's called the camel thorn rather than the giraffe thorn. Anyway, this really is a very, very remarkable example. It nearly fell down, uh, but Ted Davison built these fantastic support columns that are still holding it up to this day. And uh, yeah, when you stand underneath it, you can really feel the history of this tree standing here still today in 2018 Zimbabwe. I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. I hope you've enjoyed this. How's it, guys? If uh, we haven't met before, uh, this is what I do. Little video ets about African medicinal plants. Um, I hope you find it interesting and useful and valuable. If you do, you can find plenty more on my YouTube channel, Instagram, uh, Facebook, AfricanPlantHunter.com, blog, etc. All right, guys, it's been really, really, really great having you along for this one. There's plenty more. I hope to see you again, and I will catch you later. Thank you. Bye.